For blessing me with this beautiful seat of twin. But I can't take care of them. And I can't watch them die of hunger and good medical care. Now oh, I wish I have parents. Our oh, religion. It would have been easier for me. to do. God, please forgive me. But I have to do this.
I don't need to know who killed the baby here. Can't you see that the baby is already smiling at me? This one, please, it's cold here. Let's go inside. Don't, 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 Honey, they can easily report to the station first thing tomorrow morning. Please. Please. Um, um, sorry. Can you say anything about that? Are you sure? Yes. 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 My name is Messi Johnson Okoje, Nollywood actress. Subscribe to Nollywood Classic TV. You want to see the best movies from My Breakfast to Selen Sebuga down to the best and the awesomest movies? Subscribe to Nollywood Classic TV. Hi, y'all. Kadesh. Are you here all alone? Looking out through the window. When everybody is already downstairs waiting to welcome your elder brother. An elder brother I've not seen or spoken with for 10 years. I don't want to see him. No, welcome him. Listen. I know how you feel. But he's still your brother. And I'm very sure that he must have a very strong reason for his inability to communicate with us all these years. Moreover, he's still my son. Your only brother. The heir apparent to the throne of Ojoto Kingdom. Lutanna, we must welcome your brother as the great prince he is.
What's going on? No, mom, what's going on? No, why are you doing me like that? Why are you treat me like I'm not a friend? You got a big machine in the house. Why send this more? Why send this more? Look at what you You send this small air to come pick me from here. Why do like that? You know what? I'm gonna forgive you because my kid, right? Mom! Hmm! Good to be home! Come here, mom! Come here, mom! Welcome, Come here! Mom, you're looking good! Come on, that's how that's how a queen look like. Hmm. But this is no Malian way. Yeah, mom! Friend. Yes, mom. You're welcome. Why are you not dressed in a princely attire? What? What are you talking about? Dress? Malians don't wear clothes. We don't wear clothes. Malians? Yes, mom, Malians. Who are the Malians? Oh, Mommy, you're not seeing it already? Look at Malian. I'm a Malian. Born Malian. Fred? Mom! Why are you not wearing belts? Your trouser is almost falling down. Ah, God! Well, there you go again. Malians don't wear belts! Mom, to cut it short, Malians are manaless. We don't fucking wear all those things. You know what? If you guys go to welcome me home after all these years I spent in America, you got to welcome me like a Malia. Um, but we have the maidens here to throw flowers at your feet. And the cultural group are already on standby to entertain you. Like what? No, mom. What a welcome me, you got to welcome me like a Malia. No, these guys throwing flowers. They should be here throwing weights and wrestlers. My fellow Malians should be invited to dance soapy with me. Wait, by the way, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing my president. Where is Nair Mali? Where is Latam? They are Malians. Malians rule. Come on, mom. Look at this. Look at you. What? You, you wearing belt? Oh no. You are just tying rubbers like an old waitress. Oh no. What's it? Oh, you wearing a bra? Oh no. God damn it, you know the Malians. Malians don't wear bra. Come on, mom. They should be here to dance to be with me. No dress like this. Come on. Please, Fred. Calm down. Which one is soapy dance? Is it better than a Kometeni dance? What? Mom, so all this while I've been in the broad, you even heard about Malians and soapy? Mom, mom wait. I'm gonna play some. Hey, 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 you. On the English. On English. I'm a Malian. Malians are man and less. I'm a Malian. Malians know they wear brown. I'm a Malian. Malians are man and less. I'm a Malian. Malians know they wear pants. I'm a Malian. I'm a man. 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 Malians know they wear pants. I'm a Malian. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a Malian. Malians know they wear pants. Excuse me, young lady. Are you a Malian? Are you a Malian? I'm not sorry to ask because I'm manless. I'm manless. I sight your back out from afar, shaking like tanker. Shaking like tanker. I get money to spend in party after party after party. My big boy with big cassava. Shay you go like to Shay you go like to The Malian meet the Malian. They supposed to Malian. Come on, bro. Come here. I'm a Malian. Come on, keep right. Come here. Yes, I'm manless. I love you, bro. I'm Come on, you all should dance. Malians huh? they wear brown. Huh? That's how Malians do. Malians throw money away in stingy. I'm back. We are going to Malianize this kingdom. <laughs> Come on. I like that. I like that. This is how I'm colonizing them already. Come on. My prince, it is unfortunate we are not seeing the day of our life. We did all we could to sustain him, but it was indeed his time. We don't have to question our ancestors. Our king has been in the mortuary for many months because we are waiting for you, his first son. To be back home first before we start the funeral arrangement. And now that you are here, we have to start immediately. However, we'll give you some time to rest. 
Are you as a family? We start the funeral arrangement with your mother, our queen. And, and the prince, your brother. Yeah, as a family. You can invite us as cabinet members. We then can discuss further with you as you must have concluded with your mother and your brother. Ichi! Whenever you see me wrapping my way, don't you ever try to engage me in conversation. Because it's my moment of reason. It is the moment I communicate with the people you, not the Ichi, or no one in this room can see. I tell you what. I know in all your heads you're thinking about bringing all those masks who are. All those that couldn't shit, I couldn't what, I don't know. You talk about people that are going to honor my father's last of all. You talk about personalities. My president has got to be here. Naira Mali has got to be here. He beat it. Slata. Hold me away. Let me shock you. There's been a plan to assume the dead body of Bob Mali. To come pay my father for his respect before he can die for me. So cut it in you here, you think you're going to bring all those shit here. And let me ask you, or oh no, is that a makeup or is that a booty on you? Is that a makeup? No, I mean, I mean that thing on your jaw, is that a makeup? Natural, natural. And you, you, you said it's natural? Natural, it's so natural. Nice. natural. So you know what? I advise you all go shading you home. I'm going to discuss with my family, my mom, my brother, and my sister. Then we get back to you. So go home. By the way, who wants to? Who wants to test American weed? Guess You see, you're scared. All of you scared. Just only that weed. Biggie, you want it? Yeah, I like it. You're a modern. Big fat Biggie. You're a big fat Biggie. Catch it. You see, you see what I'm saying? It's how my name do. That's how my name's do. You see, when he caught it, he's smart. My name's a smart. The only thing remaining for you, hey, hey, you do this in the big fat hair. The only thing remaining for you, I'm a, I'm a changing look. You can start wearing beds and start tying rubbers like an old witch in the lady. You gotta be a man. You're gonna wait in, you, you, you just go to target, you're not gonna wear belt. That's how my name do. My name's don't wear belt. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. From today on, any day you see me asking me for dollar, I'ma give you one dollar any day you see me. And you know one dollar can buy you? One dollar can buy your house. Your house, your entire home, one dollar can buy it. So you gotta learn that song. So you dance like money. I will marry a nice this kingdom. Yeah, I'm back. You don't want to go home, you want to stay here? You want to go home? Or you want to stay here?
What makes him mad? You asking me? Yes. Were you not there with us? Listen, Okando. That young man is, is beating his youthfulness. That's all. I like him. You and like I would like him? to work with him. Yes. Is that why you collected this thing from him? Is there anything wrong with that? Are you telling me you have not smoked Ibo before? Hey! Dukwe? Me? All the rest, fuck off! Hello? I'm a Malian. 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 I'm a
I know you love me, yes, you love your son. And you want the best for me, but I couldn't be nothing better than I am now. As a matter of fact, I am the president of the MBG. What does that mean? No belt gang. Malians! No, no belt gang! gang. No belt gang. That's who we are, Mom. Mom, please. You just have to learn to embrace the Malians. No belt gang. You see, I'm not wearing belt, Mom. Look at it. Is anyone wearing belt? No belt gang! Mom, you gotta learn it. You gotta stop wearing bra. You gotta stop wearing panties. Malians don't wear bra. They don't wear panties. Please. The king made it crystal clear that I must read his will to his family before the coronation. Her Majesty, the Queen, is very much privy to that instruction. I want to say welcome to you, Prince Frederick. Thank you. And do accept my condolence on the passing of your father. It affects me and every one of us here as much as it does affect you. We've waited for you to arrive before we can commence the entire process. Now that you're here, every other thing, every other process, including the reading of the will, and the handing over of documents to the appropriate persons according to the will shall commence. You're welcome once again, my prince. <clears throat> Barrister, once again, you're welcome. You see, I have been waiting for this part and I thank God that uh, we're finally going to do it. Yes, um, uh, um, you know, it's only right that our fathers will go to prison so that um, everybody will know what truly belongs to him or her. So, um, thank you once again. Uh, you know, as a, as a Malian, we believe in family, and family is everything. <laughs> that, that's, so, having said that, I want to quickly assure you that it's not going to change anything. It's not going to break us up as a family. Yeah, it's just the right thing to do. Thank you so much. Yes, Mom. Yes, that is true. Barista, thank you so much for coming within a short notice of Prince Frederick's arrival. No worries, my queen. Uh, it only falls in my line of duty. I'm just doing my job. <coughs> Thank you so much, Barrister. I really appreciate the efforts. The entire Ujoto Kingdom cannot wait for all this to happen. So, we crown Prince Frederick, who is the heir apparent to the throne, the king. Because the kingdom has been without a king for so long. Well, um, the, the entire process is not consuming, I can assure you. We'll be done with it as soon as possible so you can proceed with the coronation. Just give me a couple of days and we'll be done with it. Excuse me, young lady. Are you a Malia? Are you a Malia? I'm not sorry to ask because I'm manless. I'm manless. I sight your back out from afar, shaking like tanker. Shaking like tanker. I get money to spend in party after party after party. <laughs> I'm a man, 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 I'm a
By the will, neither did I assist or even advise him on who to favor or otherwise. I'm only a legal advisor. My job was just to advise him and to read his will in the event of his passing. I've just done that. See? I had this negative premonition about this whole thing from the very first day I was born. About my father's death. How can you tell me that my father, the wealthiest man that ever lived, wrote his will and willed everything to my younger brother without giving anything to me? The first son, not even a cube of sugar. How possible is that? Let me tell you, I will never sit and watch anyone strip me of what is rightfully mine. I would rather die than watch that happen. Can get wet. My father's will has been read by his glory. The sooner you get it, my father didn't want you to hear it, any of his property. The better for you and get your so called money. Keep brother. Keep brother that never said a word to me since I came back from the United States of America. Finally speak for the first time. And what comes out of your mouth is head speech. Lutana. Now it's obvious to even the death that you are the one. Go worst this cheap, demonic, undesirable, stupid idiot that claims to be a charge on bail. No, excuse me. You're not even up to a charge on bail. You did tampered with my father's will. Hello, my younger brother. Fred. Mom! I promise you, son. I will take all that is rightfully mine. Because I am the first son of Ibo Bibi of Ojoto Kingdom. No one can change it. Not even the gods! But even you, Nutama. It is very difficult for you to open the mouth of a tiger and take up what is true. Let me see how you're going to take all that my father willed to me. I will fight you to your grief if you don't stay clear. Tana, the needle, as tiny as it is, Made this girls you worry. Have you thought about that? <laughs> Are we 
majesty. No, no, no. How are you, Mom? I'm fine. But not until you walked into this palace, smoking Indian hemp, of which I've warned you severally to stop. Mom, you better get used to this. Because as soon as I send the throne of Fujo to kingdom, your maidens, the drivers, the guards, Everybody in this palace will be smoking it. I'm a legalizer. Yes, no. Anyways, that's not the reason I am back early today. Why are you here early? Guess what? I'm not good at guesses. You do that. Mommy, guess now. Just guess. Anyways, I've seen a wife. Really? Yes, ma'am. I've seen a woman that captivates my heart. So where is she? She's outside. But I decided to come in first and let you know before I bring her in. No, no, it's okay. Bring her in, please. Mm. Yeah, go ahead. That's my mom. That's my mom. <laughs> hey, mom. Yes. Please be nice to her. Where is my queen? Sasha Bambi Queen, come in my mom. Come in, Harry and Majesty. Look at her. Look, look at her. On to you again, Sasha. That's it, baby. That's it, baby. Mama, I'm sure you like it. Oh, Queen. <laughs> mm. Her name is Sasha. And guess what? She's a Mali. And you brought her here to do what? My wife, of course. My wife. And the woman that is going to bury your grandchildren. God forbid. Oh, shut up. I reject you. You're not accepted in this palace. Not even as a maiden. More of becoming his wife. No! My eyes shall not behold iniquity. Anyway, I sorted everything in my family already. So many of my father's will, which I believe was thwarted by that. Idiot that calls himself a doing in my younger brother. But you know what? If he has a hand in it, they will pay dearly for their blood. And how sure are you that your younger brother has a hand in whatever happened to the will? I'm, I'm a psychologist and I'm a Malian. We way too smart than whoever. He's already showing in his behavior. He has only said a few words to me since I returned from the United States. So what more proof can I get? But I can assure you, if he really does have a hand in that, he will pay with his blood. God forbid. Nobody will ever get hurt because of an ordinary property. I mean, my salary is enough to take care of this family's welfare and other financial problems. You should be concentrating more on the coronation. Because you, my darling husband, will own the entire kingdom when you finally become king. Please leave them to enjoy whatever they inherited. Never! Sasha! Do you know what you're saying? I am not a weekly. I'm a Malian and a soldier. 
if I cannot fight for my birthright in my father's house as the first son, how can I then challenge a stranger to claim what is mine? I am a Malian as well, and I'm talking to you as a Malian princess. So why are you afraid already? Let me tell you, Sasha, this fight is mine, and I shall fight! Even if it's with the last drop of my blood. Marry, sir. I'm glad to share a story with you. A child woke up one morning and told the third that what must I do will be great. You know what he said? God work hard for you, sir. Do not look into people's sweat because that sweat gave them wealth. People's sweat can make you great but make you sweat the grave. You beg! How many houses did he promise you? Listen. You winkling, you ass, if you barrister in this cheap place, but you're not. You just a charge and base. I'm gonna tell you. I won't come here again to warn you to amend my father's will. Quit you twatted with my greedy younger brother. I won't. You know I can see you for invading my privacy and accusing me of twatting your father's will. Do you know that? My father that I know cannot write his will and will everything to my younger brother without giving me a pain. I do not need profound investigation to know that you actually twatted that wheel with my younger brother. Barrister. I'm gonna give you until 48 hours to revise whatever you did with my younger brother. Are you threatening me? It's not just a threat. I am a Malia. M E R L I -E N. What we say we will do, that we will do. The only reason you stand here before me is because I didn't sue you for assault and attempted murder for trying to strangle me before so many witnesses at your father's house. And you stand here before me and threaten to take my life? Come, I would love to see your face in court. As you explain that, Prince. Barrister Patrick has been the family lawyer even before you were born. And I will not have you go to his office again to threaten an innocent man just because of property. He would have sued you if of my intervention. He can sue me for all I care. But I will not rest until I recover my bed right, which I was ripped off. You are no longer the Frederick that I raised. I did not raise you to be transformed into a beast just because of property. Show sure you seen the bigger picture here, Mo. It's not about property, it's about my birthright. And I'm sure you didn't raise me to be a weakling. I will not sit and watch anyone take away what is rightfully mine. And no one sleeps with both eyes closed. Not even you, Mo. It's not a threat, Mo. It's a promise.
he will soon get what he ordered. Mom! Malians don't give up. And the blood of Malians is flowing in my veins. We have in this family and strike any member of this family, leaving us with no other choice than start to suspecting one another. Ibo Bibi was my elder brother, but I can't sit back and watch his children kill themselves because of the way he shared his property. Fred is the first son of Chief, my elder brother. He deserves to inherit something from his father. But I was shocked and surprised that my brother did not win anything to his first son in his property sharing. Why he had enough to give his house Even his dead man. And well, my fellow elders, I will not lie to you. I inherited Two houses and five million from my brother. But as a matter of fact, I promise that I will give Frederick one of the houses and two million naira just to help him. It's your gamble. You are indeed a great man. Thank you. You are a beautiful man. May the gods bless you. I will like the children of Ubibi to emulate what you just did now. Your Majesty, we have decided to tell the children of Ubibi that we are coming the next market day to share his property between the two of them. If they fail to resolve their differences before then, and we need to coronate a new king before the enemies start encroaching on that too. Please talk to them. <clears throat> Elders of Ojoto Kingdom, I thank you so much for all your positive support towards making peace amongst my children. I am indeed very grateful. I will convey your message to them. And I promise you that personally I will try my best to make sure that this issue is resolved before then. You better do that before things start falling apart. Honey, what is it? Why are you back so early? Talk to me, talk to me. What is going on? Mother invited me over to tell me that my uncles have decided to share my property. Impossible. The one I inherited from my father. That is not possible. Never. I will not allow that to happen. Never. Never. I will never allow that to happen. Never. I want to die than to share my property with anybody. Don't come. Don't, don't, what are they talking about? I will share my property with somebody who goes about smoking weed. Honey, you know what? Your brother is jealous of you. Very jealous. All he wants to do is to strip you of everything you inherited from your father. 
can we not break that up? Never. Never! I cannot allow that to happen. I know he's the one who's getting all this. But I have a word for him. He will regret ever coming into this house. He will regret it. He will regret it. Mary. Yes, ma'am. You are my best friend and only eyes in this family. And I truly value your information. I want you to put your ears on ground. In case those stupid elders come around having meetings without my husband's information. Now I always do that. I served the late king for over a decade. And I am not ready to share the money he willed to me with anyone. Ma, please I will advise you to be very careful in everything you are doing. Because the death of Barrister Patrick is still strange to me. And whoever that killed him will definitely kill for that same reason. Of course we are and we will always be. May I take my leave now? Yes, thank you. Um, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Here is some money. All this for me? Yes, you can have it all to yourself. Thank you, Ma. God bless you. If you keep bringing information to me, trust me, you are going to have plenty of this. Yes, Ma. Thank you, thank you, yeah, thank you, thank you, Ma. Thank you, thank you, thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Oh, who give you much is expected? No use your carries, scatter my bees. No use your bees, scatter my gary. If you scatter my gary, I go scatter your bees. Scatter my bees, I go scatter your gary. Oh, my nena, Why are you blocking the gate? I know you're working so hard to take all that I inherited from our father. I'm sorry to disappoint you, bro, because you're not getting a dime for me. I did not inherit anything from you, so I'm not ready to share anything with you. What I am capable of doing to you if you do not surrender our father's property for us to share it equal. Empty drum they said makes the loudest noise. I can see you're too old to understand what is going on. Brother, go ask me and look for your father. Because this area is mine. I am ready to fight you to your grave. Why don't you bring on the fight? Why don't you? You know there's an adage that says a child can play with her mother's breast and they will laugh. <laughs> but if a child tries playing with his father's balls. He can go. He can go when you see. Get me? You know there's a difference between you and I. Do you know the difference? Very handsome boy. Very good lad. Very good boy. You got manners. But you know me? I am mannerless. Because I am the Malian. Malians are mannerless. Don't try. 
I can see this that one you heard is really disturbing you. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lutana, I'm playing this song for you. Excuse me, young lady. Are you a Malia? Are you a Malia? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. This is the document. Document to the house I inherited from your father. I just could not bear the thought of enjoying another man's world when his own son did not inherit anything. Please, how is it? And um, I want you to send me your account number so that I can transfer the five million that he gave to me also to your account. Madam Gift, you don't have to cry. Please use this. Okay. Madam Gift, you've lived with us for 30 years now. You, you raised me almost. You've showered nothing but love and care to me. I appreciate this and I promise you when all this are over I'll show you love. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. You're welcome. I just want you to live in peace with your brother. I just want peace to reign in your family. Talking about peace, nobody's going to have peace in you as long as I don't get what I am supposed to inherit from my late father. There will be no peace in this kingdom. Thank you for this, Madam Peace. I appreciate it once again. Now. He did what? Ask him! The property I sold are mine! They don't belong to me! What are you talking about? You want to shoot me? Why don't you go ahead and shoot me if that's gonna make you happy? Shoot me! I've sold all the property and there's nothing you or anybody can do about it. And I replaced them with new ones in my name. I've written my way, and I don't need to tell you who I will have written to. It's not up to one more. And you've already started selling this property without informing me, your mother. Oh, oh, oh. I don't need to inform anybody before selling what is mine. They are mine, and I sold them. Why don't you pull the trigger? No, no, let me, let, listen. I know the property are yours, but it's too heavy to sell the don't you think? Mom, did you just say the property are his? Why are you always soft on him and you're hard on me? I am the first son of this family and your dad weighed everything to my younger brother and you didn't do anything about it. I am a graduate. Am I supposed to go searching for greater pastures when my father is wealthy? My father had over 10 companies and you both never allowed me to work in any of them. Over 50 property in and outside the city. Yet you never allowed me to live in any of them. Where did I go wrong? How did I go wrong? You and father will everything that belongs to us, to my younger brother, without even a pain to Frederick.
and right here in my presence. You open your mouth and call our father's property his as if I am nobody. Mom, if you do not tell me what is happening right here and while I was a man in America, I'm going to shoot you now and everybody in this power without you, Mom, please. Please. Baby, baby, sweetheart, my heart dropped. Listen to me. We can sort all these things out without you hurting anybody. Sasha, stay out of this. Speak! Listen, Fred. Did you do anything wrong to me or to anybody? And nobody is conspiring to take away what belongs to you. All these are happening because of the agreement I had with your father. Several years ago. And what agreement are you talking about? <laughs> Several years ago, a few weeks after our wedding, Baby is already smiling at me. This one, please, it's cold here. It's cold inside. Listen, what you have to do right now is make a call and call the police in this case. Alright? But, but, but that can wait till tomorrow morning. The baby is already stressed off. All he needs right now is to bathe, eat, and then sleep. Please, honey. They can easily report to the station first thing tomorrow morning. Please. Please. Um, um, sorry. Can you say anything about that? Are you sure? Just to Yes. What was the meaning of that? Must you insult me in the presence of the DPO? Why would you say that, that that kind of useless statement? What was that for? But honey, honestly, I thought you also wanted that. I wanted what? That was why I did everything without your consent. Will you shut up? Listen, I don't, I don't, I don't even want to talk about this until I get to the house. Honey, okay? you shout it. I said, shut up your mouth, let me think. What the monster Why would you tell the DPO that rubbish? And it's also for our own good. It's for our own good. We went to the police station to report about this baby and also for the baby to be handed over to the motherless baby's home. We didn't go there to tell the DPO that we want to adopt the child. How could you, my love? Huh? How could you conclude on adopting this child without seeking your husband's permission? Huh? Listen and listen real good. This child is not my blood. And I don't want to see this child in this house anymore. I want you to take this child to the motherless baby's home. Is that taken? Please, my husband. Oh, Bim, please. I'm sorry that I did all that without your consent. Just try and understand that I need the baby. I need him so much, please. Because... Shut up your mouth! You need what baby? Eh? You need what baby? Someone to call my own. This baby is not of my blood. A baby you picked from the streets? 
Huh? I know. Listen, I am going out for an important meeting. By the time I come back and this baby is still here, then you will have yourself to be blamed. Please. I mean, like, don't touch him. Please. I need him. I need him. Please. Just understand. I need him. Please. Ah, no. I can't. I can't take him anywhere. I need him. Please. Oh. Drugs. He's definitely going to be fine, okay? Let me just take him. No, 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 don't, don't, don't worry, okay? He's sleeping. Eh? I can't handle Honey. You. Don't worry, just go back. You have back. not been sleeping. Let me. Can you just go back to bed, please? Are you sure? Please. I love you. I love you too. Thank you. Hello, honey. I know. I'm so so sorry. Okay, I'm sorry for missing this baptism. I am sorry the meeting lasted more than expected. Please forgive me. Come here, beautiful wife. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are welcome. Thank you, my so, love. How did the meeting go? Splendid. It went well. It's okay. It's just that I missed you oh, and yeah. he missed you too. Yeah. Even Kennedy waited for you so we can all take pictures together. But you never showed up. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Kennedy, his godfather. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Yeah, I know. Well, well, we can actually take pictures tomorrow. That was exactly what I told him. That's my smart wife. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, here is his baptismal card. Okay, his card. Yes. Yeah. Honey. Hmm? Must you add my name to his surname? Huh? Do you know the implication of what he just did? I'm sorry, my love. But even though you are not his biological father, you are still his father. And he will grow up to take you as his father. And when he bears a different surname from yours, that may trigger questions that we may not even have answers to. Those questions are not what I am avoiding. Now you listen and listen really good. I want you to remove any from his surname. Yes, you and that baby will leave his palace. And I'm serious about that. Honey? That I'll be pleading with you to do for me as your wife. If you truly love me, which you keep telling me that you do, and I cannot swear, swear that yes, you love me. Please allow me to keep the baby and also take him as your son. Because when our children start growing up, they will take him as their brother, which I know very well that he will guide and protect them. <laughs> My husband, to be honest with you, I'm already in love with this boy. I'm already in love with him, seriously. And I know very well that you love him too. <laughs> Just look at it this way. We are not the only one living in this kingdom. Why was the baby kept at our own gate? Why? Maybe God is telling us something. Probably He wants us to take the baby as our own, not to be given to some strangers that will start maltreating him or taking him as an outcast. Please, 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 I'm still begging. Miko, please. in my family business. I will train him in school, any level he wants to attain. Okay? I will be the best father so far. But, I said but, he will never inherit anything from me after I am gone. Is uh, that taken? Yes, yes. Fine by me. Good. Fine. Thank you. Now listen to the more important one. We have to employ ourselves. In this house, so she can help in nursing the baby. You cannot combine work and nursing the baby together. Uh, thank you. Thank you, my husband. I know you're happy. Right? Yes, I'm All happy. Right, so, so. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. So, thank you. Right. Yeah, are you happy now? Yes, I'm happy. All right. I love you. I love you too. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Yes, honey. Yes, my love. Guess what? Honey, you know I'm not good at guesses. Try. <laughs> honey, I have a lot in my mind right now. I don't even know what, what to say. I don't even have anything else in my head. 
I'm pregnant. She lied. <laughs> Seriously. You? I am pregnant. You're pregnant? Yes, I'm pregnant. <laughs> You're pregnant? Yeah, I love you. I love you. I love you more. I love you, I love you more. Oh, I'm proud now. So I'll be a father soon. Yes. Ah, wonderful. Uh, oh, oh. I can feel the baby kicking already. Ah, uh, uh, so soon. <laughs> Stop. I don't want you to do anything from him's fault. All right. No I don't want you to stress yourself, please. I would. Good. Okay. Oh, uh, my love. Yes. One more thing. What is it? Um, please. I don't want you to tell anyone, not even our parents, that we are not the biological parents of Frederick. Okay? No problem, my love. No problem at that. I will not tell anyone. And even if my parents find out about this baby, they will definitely ask me to take him to the motherless baby's home. So, it's a secret. Secret? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh my you. God, I love you too. I love you, you know, I love you, I love you. Okay, so I don't want you to do anything again, right? I don't want anything to happen to mine. Another Tales by the Moonlight story. I am a Malian, and Malian blood flows in me. If you think your cheap story will stop me from my inheritance as the first son of King Obibi of a Joto kingdom, you lie. I must take what truly belongs to me. I was ready to fight you to death when I thought you were my brother. But now I know. You are not in any way related to me. I will fight you to your grave. You see that throne? You see the throne you're fighting for? It belongs to me. If I see you anywhere close to it, I will kill you. You better go look for the man that dropped you in front of my father's gate. Because I've tried enough for you. Lodana! Lodana! If I see you ten miles close to my throne, I will shoot you. I will shoot and shoot until you have no breath in you anymore. Throne of Obibi Kingdom belongs to me. And no one, no one dares to take it away from me. Not even ten of you. Before now, I thought you were the only architect of the problem we have in this family. But I promise both of you, I will get to the root of this matter. Lutana! Do not let me unleash the Malian in me. Because Malians don't give up. Lutana! Malians don't give up! If I get you anywhere close to the truth, you shall have your head for my first Gift is the person in the best position in your family to tell you the simple truth concerning your past. And I know she will not lie to you because everybody in this palace knows how much she loves and cares for you. Baby, go and ask her questions concerning your past. You're right. I will. I will. My love. Why are you like this? My baby, baby. My bully. Do you know you're my bully, bully, bullies? 
Johnson, if you want to ask me for Isepe, I'm not interested. I'm hi. tired. Hi. How can you be tired of me? See, eh? I don't want to ask for I don't want to ask for it again. I want to own it. I want to be the landlord, the caretaker. Why are you leaning down now? Mm, I just want to do something I've done done before. We we'll call it never seen before. <laughs> oh, you know I was busy when you sent for me. Okay, okay. I want to surprise you. Surprise me? Yes. Hey, do you know, hey, I like it the way you used to flash water. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> Only that water alone. Eh? This way, this way. <laughs> I said, let me take, let me take It's this not break. flash water, the way I used to, that's pure water. Okay. Yeah, one minute, but can I go now? Hey, flash and spray water. Spill. Okay, spill. <laughs> no problem. So, mm. can you just close your eyes? I should close my eyes. Just close your eyes. Mm. I hope you don't want to drag me on. Mm. I will that one. I've closed my eyes now. Ah, your eyes is <laughs> Johnson. Hmm? Can I open it? No, no, no. Give me your hand. My hand? Just give me, give it to me. Oh, don't drag me. Oh. Me, I don't want to do. <laughs> Ta gam! Hey, Johnson. Hmm? What are you doing? What do you think I was doing? Will you marry me? Me? Yes. Marry you? I don't know. Hey. Johnson. Hmm? Yes. Ah! Yes. Hey. I'm very. Put it. Uncle. Put inside. It. inside. Push it. Put it. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey. I want to bend. I want to bend. Hey. I want to bend. Hey. Johnson. You like it? How did you know my size? You find no. Johnson, take it. Hey. I noticed that ever since I got married to you. Who never made it? Seeing here, I've been wondering too. I don't know what is going on. Is it that you don't feel me or you're having something to do with somebody else out? I don't get it. Are you accusing me of sleeping out? What else can make a woman not to have sex with her husband if not sleeping out? No. Maybe you are the one sleeping with the maidens out there. Yes! Hello? You are flirting! Hello? Yes! Did you just say that? No! I did not say that. Okay. Now we are here. Can we make love? What is the problem? My God, my head. Come here. My head. Are you okay? My head. I need water. Water. Let me call the doctor. Oh. My head. It's okay. I'll call the doctor. Okay. Did 
Do you not play with you? Do you think I play with you? What made you ever think I will bow for you? My lands do not bow for no one. Hey! Listen to me. I am not here for jokes. If you don't get my document, I will kill you and nobody will cough. You are so naive, but I don't blame you. And what is the meaning of this? I'm sure you can read. This is a DNA result. A proof that I am a biological son of Igbo Bibi of Ujoto Kingdom. Shut that trap. Shut that trap! What are you talking about? Let me tell you something. You are a bastard. And a bastard I what will see you as. That is who you are. Don't you you tell me if you call me bastard one more time. I will blow your head. Bring it up. Can solo keep now? Open it in a mama rasibo. Who can go peg of one? Who can go peg of one? It's a war. It's a war. It's a saga. It's a saga. It's a saga. Bring it on! I will shoot you without remorse. Wonder, we are there. Wonder, we are there. Oh, this Fred. Would you go and stop with this? This. lived with us like forever. So I come to you in confidence. Only you can tell me the truth that I'm seeking for. Please tell me. Am I truly the biological son of King Gobi? Was I dumped at their gates as my mother cleaned? Please tell me. Because I am confused. Like, I'm confused now. I don't know who else to ask but you. Please tell me. Is it true that I was picked by their gates? Confused, please tell me. Madam Gifts, please tell me. My I want to thank you immensely for your support since my father died. You see, you've been so supportive. Even when I was having issues with Frederick over the properties my father left behind for me. I want to use this as a 
a little token to say thank you. Hey, for your sincerity. Hey. Thank you. Okay. And now that we all know that he's not in any way related to our family, I want to plead with you as my uncle. Not to allow a man that my father picked from the gutters to take advantage of us anymore. That will not happen. Not while I'm still alive. I thank God that your mother, someone the courage to relate to us that that boy is not in any way related to this uh, family. And uh, I thank God that your father is not allowing him to work in any of his companies or to live in any of his houses. He knew that a day like this will come. Osu is not allowed in this kingdom. Talk more of a royal family. He will not be accepted in this family. Thank you very much, Uncle. I shall brief you on my plans of chasing him out of this kingdom. Mm -hmm. I will always support you <coughs> in any of your plans. Thank you. My regards to the family. Thank you. Shebi, you say you be prince, yo. Me, I be my young prince, yo. Say you be prince, yo. Me, I be my young prince, yo. Say you be prince, yo. Me, I be my young prince, yo. I am certain that your father knew that a day like this will come. That is why he has such an agreement with your mother. We must do what is expected of us. And that is making sure that Frederick does not inherit a dime from whatever that belongs to your father. Since he's not the biological son of your father, not even the throne. Uncle, I must thank you for your understanding. You're welcome. And standing by me throughout all these um, fracas. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And I also want to use this to say a very big thank you, just a little token. For me? Yeah. Thank you. I don't know what to say. I'm highly excited. But I pray that God will continue to bless you. And I promise you that I will not cease to stand by the truth. That is good. Um, I must tell you that um, I'm delighted that we have credible elders like you who stands by the truth, upholds the truth. Our good Lord will continue to bless you and your household. Thank you. Uncle, thank you very much. It's all right. Do take care of yourself and your family. And you too. All right? Thank you. Thank you. She be you say you be prince, yo. Me, I be my young prince, yo. Say you be prince, yo. Me, I be my young prince, yo. Say you be prince, yo. Me, I be my young prince, My prince! No, wait, 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 Make that step again, me. Oh, I, li I like it. Just take that walk my again. Prince. Take that walk again. That's a man, I like. I like. I I'll just, just keep going. I don't see. God damn it! Come here, motherfucker. My prince. I like it. I like it. You're a man. You got this. My prince. You got this prayer. Yes. How you doing? I'm doing fine, my prince. Mm. Anyways, I was actually coming to your house. Okay, my prince. So, um, a quick one. I want you to do me a favor. Yes, my prince. See, with all things that's happening in this palace now, I know my enemies. Bro, I know my enemies. I want you to keep eyes on all these elders. All those you Coco Chico elders, I don't know. But I want you to keep your eyes on them. Okay, my prince. I want you to know what they're discussing, what the movement, whatever they're doing with my key brother. No problem, my prince. Because I know there's a conspiracy to take away what's my bed, right? But I'm not going to let that happen because I'm a Malian. Yes, my prince. So from now on, okay, when was the last time you had discussions with them? My prince, we discuss every day. Oh, really? I know what is going on, my prince. 
I got your back. Yes. My prince, hmm. your younger brother, Lieutenant, has a true motive. I've been going to the others, giving them envelope, bribing them to turn against you. What? Yes. But you don't have to worry, my prince. I am with you. Everything that plan will fail. Yes. I know that. I know something is fishing. That's why he's always leaving the house early in the morning. Really? Okay, you know what you're gonna do? Just keep your eyes on the ground, keep your ears open. I want to know all the information you can get, okay? Yes, my friend. Remember the last time I told you anytime I see you, I'm gonna give you one dollar. Yes, my prince. From now on, I'm gonna give you twenty dollars. Wow! This assignment. My prince! Yes, I see My that. prince! I see that. <laughs> twenty dollars anytime I see you. Yes, my prince. <laughs> Take all that shit. Mm. Okay. My prince! My Malia prince! Thank you, my prince. You. Mm. My prince! You know what? Watch my back. Mm. When this fight is over, you might get more. My prince! Get the shit out! No bell again. 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 My prince! No use your bell again. Scatter my gary! I don't even know what you're saying. No bell again. You've been roaming around since yesterday night and up to now you are still moving front and back. Papa, what did you, you want to kill yourself? Because of one million naira, you, you just <laughs> Why would I, I, I cry? Why would I get worried? See, I would just kill myself if I don't find that money. But, uh, see, uh, this thing you, you're saying, uh, you don't need to kill yourself because, Papa, I warned you. I warned you, you shouldn't drop that money here. I told you to take this money to the bank, but you refused. You said the house was a better place for you to save your money. Now look at it. You are looking for it. Eh? I, 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 I don't want to lose. I'm not ready to lose you, Papa. I don't, I don't know what you are doing. No. I'm not just ready to lose you, Papa. Is that only what you have to say? What else do you want me to say, Papa? What else do you want me to say? See, Papa, let me tell you. If you want to die, fine, good. I will not even beg you not to die again. But before you die, you will just do a meeting with you and your family members so that you can agree on a land that they will sell so that I can use it for your burial. Because I don't even have friends that can contribute for Gary, one cup of Gary, not to talk of friends that will contribute for me to bury you. You know me and I don't even have money. But, but, so, you see, I don't even know where I will start from. Now, I begin to suspect that you are the one who stole that money. Look I... at your eyes. Look at your eyes. But, but, I mean, I mean, even believing that you are not from my blood. But, you, see, you, are, you are very short and I'm very... Hold on, Ruj. Papuka. Uwa. Uwa. Papa, if there is any person they will ask that question, Papa, it's you. It's yeah. you they will ask. They will, you, you, you better go and ask who is, who is your own father because this one is my own father's house. You go to your own father's house and ask who is your father. Me? Yes, Papa. <laughs> Be careful. If I don't find that money, if I don't get that money, I will get responsible. Then, Papa, it's better you go inside and still continue to look for it. If you like, don't eat. There's no problem. The last time I checked, I was about going to, 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 to treat my leg. I don't know even know why I even stopped to listen to you. You're a prodigal son. And you are a worthy father. You are a worthy father, Papa. You, you better go and look for the money by yourself. Once you see it, you can let me know. You can know how to separate the money together. All oh, the money I got went to Charlie. Remember, I promised to give it to you. It's better than sharing it to that useless friend. Yes. Mm -hmm. At least, let me give it to my husband because I want our wedding to be an outstanding one. And I want our house to be far, far, far better than this palace. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, just take the money. Hi! Baby. Mm -hmm. I did not remove even 1,000 dollars inside. Baby. You know, a woman is meant to submit under a man. Hey! I'm the terror. Mm -hmm. Hey! This is a good idea. You see, I don't know what you are an angel. They're supposed to change your name from Mary to an angel. Are you getting it? You see, um, with this money here, this money here, our wedding, 
put the white, the traditional marriage, it will be awesome. It will be announced. <laughs> announced everywhere. African marriage, African magic will carry it. You'll go to African magic. Uh -huh. Hey, you'll go to will carry it. Hey, it is the word. Hey, like the word. Uh -huh. The word. Indian will carry it. Hey, 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 I am going to look for something that that is gigantic, gigantic building. Igwe. Gigantic. Okay, that's Igwe. Not just Igwe. Yeah, Igwe. As in mean, iron. Not iron. As in beautiful house. Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's speak big English. Gigantic. <laughs> gigantic road. Not gigantic. <laughs> gigantic. Gigantic. Okay, giants. Yeah, I, I, use, I use. I use. I learned it from. Uh, you learnt it. I learnt it. it. <laughs> hey, see, just secure this money first. Mm -hmm. You know that once we finish our work wedding now, I will give you plenty children. <laughs> uh, uh, but before, before, before then, uh, let me secure uh, this one. Okay. Uh, no problem. Let me go back. Let's start making babies now. Which one is baby? The money is here. Are you going to make money on top of the, make baby on top no, of the money? Tom, let me take from back. Mm -mm. Huh? And the man like your dog, yeah. I don't like it. You don't do dog style. Mm -hmm. Animal, animal is ready to be. Let's do pussycat style. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that. I didn't like don't like pussycat style. Even. Madam Gift, see, you should tell them the truth. Yes, I suggest that. Please, tell them the truth. Nothing more but the truth, okay? The truth? Yes, the truth. Because two same blood marrying themselves is an abomination. Eh? You are Christian. Hey. Yes. Huh? If I say the truth, my son and my daughter could hurt me. Madam Gift, even if they do hate you, that will be for a while. And you'll be fine again. You're a Christian. Hmm? And the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear, but of sound mind. Okay. Tell them. Hmm? The truth. Please, nothing but the truth. That's all you need as a Christian. Hmm. I'm afraid, Father. I'm afraid. You don't have to be afraid. Hmm? You have to have faith in God. You're a Christian. And for that, you have a spirit not of fear, but of sound mind. Eh? Please tell them the truth. I don't think body truth will serve you. Listen, don't fear the one that can kill the flesh. But fear the one that kills the soul and spirit. Hey. Say the truth. You're a Christian. They conspired against me because they think I am too weak to fight for what belongs to me. My best rights. Baby, please. I am begging you, please. We are Malians. And Malians do not spill blood. All that changed the moment they willed everything to my younger brother and left me with nothing. 
The worst is the one that makes me want to shed blood when they lied about my identity. That the affluence and the wealth that I've seen and tested are not mine. How possible? Am I a Yahoo? Am I a greedy change? Am I a nuisance? I'm just a Malian. I'm just a Malian. Seeking for my best right. Sasha, this is my fight. I will fight it to the finish. Even if it takes the last drop of my blood. Seeking for my bed right. So this is what all of you do now. You now gather to discourse on how to rid me of my bed right. Fred, please. Nobody is conspiring against you. And there is no plan to strip you of what belongs to you. Honey, we've discussed everything. And I promise you, I'm your mother. You will get everything you're supposed to get. Trust me, please. Don't only promise me nothing. Do you think you deserve to be a murder? You don't deserve to be a murder. So when your stupid so-called son would have sold out all father's property, that's when you're talking about. No, I I'll take care of it, please. You know what? You. Really? The architect of all the problems in this house? You really deserve to pay with your dear life. No! What? <laughs> Nobody's paying for anything. She hasn't done anything much. If you're looking for somebody to shoot, why don't you go ahead and shoot me? That's gonna make you happy. But I never them be my guest. <laughs> I cannot stand here and watch you kill my husband. No. Jane. You see, you don't love life anymore. By the way, what good are you of? Then, you husband and wicked wife. She rot in jail. Don't leave my daughter! Don't leave my daughter! Don't leave my daughter! Your dog what? What are you talking about? Who is your daughter? <laughs> How do you know? Yes, she is my daughter and your twin sister. What? you in to conspire with them to rip me off my father's birthright now you will join them in hell what are you talking about who is brother to who and which sister to who jane is your sister your twin sister you are not my mother and this good for nothing miserable lunatic can never be my brother I would rather run mad and beg food in the markets than be a brother to a chief smelling stinking wicked girl like you, Jane. What are you saying? Who is my father? Um, Fred. Please, 
Then where is my father? Continue dancing. I like the way your waist whine. I like the way it shakes. Dance and make me happy. Huh? Listen, forget about royalty, eh? I'm the prince, the crown prince of this land. I am in charge of everything. So dance for me. Let's go. Madam. Huh? Madam will be angry with me. Who, who is madam? Who is madam when, I, when, when, when the prince is here? Do you know I'm in charge of everything? I say dance for me and make me happy or do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? Forget about anybody and dance with me and make me happy. If you want money, I'll give it to you. I'm telling me, madam. Who the hell is madam? Dance! I see you want me to force you or you want me to teach you how to dance, right? I said you should dance, shake this waist, shake this waist when you're here looking at me, moving at me. Don't you know I'm a grand priest? I said shake it! Madame won't be happy if she hears it. Madam? Who is Madam? Eh? I am the ogre here, so I'm in charge. Listen, you will not tell Madam, right? And I will not tell her either. Now, let's have fun, okay? Let's enjoy ourselves. Remember, I was the one that hired you here. And I can still fire you if I want. So if you don't give me what I want, consider yourself fired. Let's just do Sir, please like don't it. Do this. I haven't done it before. Oh, that makes it more interesting. You haven't done it before? Beautiful. And I will teach you how to do it. In fact, I will do it in a way that you will love it. Okay? Sir, please. Please, I beg you. Okay, tell me, tell me. What style do you like? Do you like from the back? Oh, you've not done it before. I will do it for you. I will teach you how to do it. Right? Sir, Listen, please. if you kiss this, my lips. It's the lips of life. You will always come for more. Sir, this is the madam will be happy. It's not to be safe. Don't worry, you will enjoy it. Thank you, man.
Didn't want to be did yesterday, he's still pending me. Please say thank you. You know I am a no fan. I beg you in the name of God. Shut up. Do you want to leave my house this minute? No, sir. You don't want to go, right? Okay, do you want to pick a few things from your wardrobe and leave this palace and never to come back again? No, sir. Good. You want to stay, right? And enjoy the atmosphere. Then, why don't you lie down? Open your legs for me. Let us continue what we've started. Thank huh? you. Listen, listen, listen. There's no need for all those things you're crying. We've started already, okay? I've told you, you will enjoy this. I know how it is, but with time, you will definitely enjoy it. So just lie down, open your legs. Sit, lie down and open your legs for me and go in. Do what I said. I am the crown prince. Sir, please, I said, lie, shh, just lie down. Lie down, and open your legs for me. Do not say anything, okay? With time, you enjoy it. Listen. Okay. I have been observing lately, not just me, but my wife and also the entire members of this family. That you are not up to your duties again. You no longer sweep the compound. You no longer wash dishes. You no longer do your house chores. What is your problem? Sir, I, I don't have any problem. You don't have any problem? Then why are you lazy? Huh? Why are you just sitting at the place and moping and looking at everybody here? I'm sorry, sir. You're sorry for sorry for what? You're sorry for what? Now listen, I want to tell you this. Listen, very carefully. Let this go straight to your head. For the fact that you did something doesn't mean that you will disrespect me in my palace. It is not possible. I am Prince so Billy. I want you to be up and doing what you do this. Okay? If I observe that you are not working in this palace, then you have yourself to be blamed. Am I understood? Yes. Now leave this place this minute! to do now. Madame has been so nice to me. And if she finds out that I'm pregnant for her husband, she will throw me out. I think I should just leave. I should leave and save myself this shame.
This place, the need to do it all is too rough. This place? Yes. Yeah, we are going to fix it up. Before the end of the job, we are going to fix it up with ties. And these pillars, all these pillars these are going with ties. Yeah. Who is this lady? I don't know how. But she, she's one of our workers. She came here looking for a job and I offered her a job. And she's very hardworking. I noticed that. I haven't seen a young lady doing this kind of work. Please, call her. Gift. My boss wants to see you. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? want to encourage you. Most of your eight mates don't do this kind of job. Instead, they go into prostitution. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you, sir. You're welcome. If you need anything, let him know. He will tell me. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Gina, come, come, come. to see you in this site after today. Do you hear me? Monsters girl. You guess are everywhere looking for who to snatch her husband in the room. I'm sorry, my girl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
God, thank you. Thank you for blessing me with this beautiful seat of twin. But I can't take care of them. And I can't watch them die of hunger and good medical care. Now I wish I have parents. Or religion. It would have been easier for me. What am I going to do? God, please forgive me. But I have to do this. That the baby is already smiling at me. This one, please, it's cold here. Let's go inside. Listen, what you have to do right now is to make a call and call the police in this case. Alright? But, but, but that can wait till tomorrow morning. The baby is already stressed off. All he needs right now is to bathe, eat, and then sleep. Please, honey. They can easily report to the station first thing tomorrow morning. Please. Please. Um, um, Sally. Can you say anything about that? Are you sure? Yes. 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 Yes.
It wasn't easy for me, but I thank God. Oh, uh, what? Nice, a pathetic story. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but thank God you're alive, and thank God you're fine, you're back here. Um, considering what you told me, you said you can take care of children, you do take care of them, right? Yes. Good. So, aside the house chores in this palace, I also want you to be taking care of this baby. Okay? From Monday till Friday. Make it your daily routine. Alright. My wife here will tell you what to do. Honey? Please. Uh, my husband has said it all. Please. I want my son here to be well taken care of. I don't want to hear to you, okay? okay Your room is still much there for you, okay? Okay, ma'am. All right, but let me just go with you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Right. Right. Let, let me take you. <laughs> oh. to this palace and I know that you will allow me to have access in your body. Huh? I actually wanted you to come stay with us here because I, I still want that that juicy part of you. You want what? You want what? Gift. Do you realize you're talking to the crown prince? Did you just raise your voice at me? I will forgive you for that. But what I want you to do right now is to go to your room, undress yourself, keep yourself clean, and wait for me to come. I still want to have a taste of that thing. I'm sorry, sir, I can't do it. Excuse me.
it easy. Thank you. Oh, Thank seriously, you. it's okay. I'm not really happy because I was thinking I'm going to meet your wife. I have something very important that I wanted to discuss with her. Oh, really? But it's okay. Yes. Tell me, so when she comes, I'll tell her. No problem. <laughs> okay, it's just about my, my house health. Okay. Yes. You won't believe that my son lost my house help so much. How? <laughs> yes. Why? I don't get that. In fact, my house help is like a God sent to my family to help me relieve me of the stress of raising a kid. Mm. <laughs> and the good thing is that my house help doesn't work on weekends. Really? Yes. I am thinking that you can hire her for the same job. The truth is that she loves kids so much. And I am very sure she's going to take good care of your daughter. Mm -hmm. So. Well, you know, I don't have much to say. Oh. You need to, yeah, I don't. All, 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 all I'll say is that once my wife comes back, I'll let her know. No. Oh. I think she should need the help. Please, you have mm. to convince her. You are the man. I will not. Once you recommend her, no problem. <laughs> okay. Let me, let me walk you to your car. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Yes. <laughs> So, um, young lady, as I was saying, <clears throat> my friend's wife told me how you used to take care of the baby. How good you are at that, you know? I mean, she actually showered you uh, a lot of encomiums. She said that you are the best. So that's why I had to ask you to come over. You understand that? So I have a question for you. Can you take care of our child the way you used to take care of their own son? I would love to work for you, sir. And I promise I'll take care of your child very well. Really? Yes, sir. Oh. Okay. So your mother told me that you're always free during the weekends. Yes, ma'am. So your duty here starts from Friday and you go back on Sunday evening. Okay. Yes. Okay, so you commended you very well and I hope you take care of my own daughter, like our daughter, <laughs> the way you normally take care of their son. Yeah, it's no problem. Uh, she has to okay. Okay. I will do just that. Okay, I will appreciate it. Thank you. So, let me show you to your room.
the wine tastes so good. Yeah. The older, the better. <laughs> Madam. Yes, gift. What is it? Why are you like this? The baby. Baby's temperature is too high. Baby's temperature is high. Yes, sir. Is that why you, you're shivering? Yes, sir. Well, he just took drugs a few minutes ago. Hmm? He's still a baby. So he's prone to sickness for now. Right? Yes, sir. Go and rest. Allow the drugs I gave him to work. Simple. We'll be fine. I don't know why you're shivering, crying. I don't know. Madam, please. His temperature is too high. Is it that serious? care of him, okay? Don't let me have him. No, I, I want to stay here with the baby. I don't want to go home. Really? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you can stay with him. Okay, ma'am.
Gift. Sir. You have truly proven to me and the entire family that you love kids and also you are good at taking care of them. Um, so, I want you to start staying with us in this palace. This time around, not as a maid, but part and parcel of this family. Okay? Thank and you. also, I will want you to assist my wife in taking good care of my kids on board. No problem, sir. I will definitely reward you handsomely when the time comes. Thank you, sir. You're God welcome. bless you, sir. You're welcome. Yes, yes. I don't really know how to say this. But I just want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you for taking care of our son as if he is yours. <laughs> Seriously, God in heaven will give you someone that is as good as you that will help to also raise your kids. You okay? Amen, ma. Amen to all the prayers. Yes. Um, I really appreciate it. God gifts, bless you. you can go to your room now. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're thank welcome. You. What you're telling us now is that Frederick and Jane are your biological children. Yes, my queen. And that my husband was responsible. Yes, my queen. I dropped him at your gates because I know your husband is buoyant financially enough to take care of him. And I picked up a job in your house and Dr. Ben's house so that I can be close to my children. I gave myself a mark at my back and I gave both of them the same mark. They are my children.
Drake. Frederick, slow down. Slow down. Everything. It's not about war. Physical war. Have you thought about if you use another method to at least gain a ground? You don't need what you are about to do now. Slow down. Think. Think, Frederick. You lost everything to him already. How do you get them back? You need to play a lawyer subject. You have to lose for you to gain. Think, Frederick. Think. Kneeling and pleading would not show total submission to me. Okay, Tom. What must I do? I, I am willing to take any punishment to give me as penance for all the wrongs I have done. Can you be servant? If that will atone for all my sins, I can be your slave, no problem. So be it. Thank you, Vicky. Honey, we need to see now. around here often. For crying out loud, how can you entrust such responsibility on him? So you need to relax your nerves, all right? Really? I know what I'm doing. Really? I've got my eyes on him. You've got your eyes on him? Yeah. Okay. Let me pour it on my body. Everything's going to be fine. Your first time of seeing a Malian washing car. Go to your gate. Hey, hey, boy, how are you? What does it look like I'm doing? Washing a car, of course. Washing. No! Manners don't wash car! We are mannerless! You told me that! Let me tell you. Some Malians have manners. Huh? Malians wash cars, yes. Situations like this need desperate measures. So. So, what happened to me? Hey! Hey, fat best! Money into your house! Hey! You deceived me! Tell him that I'm washing the car. See, Malians can wash car. Malians wash car. I, I actually I noticed that your car was dirty, so I decided to make it clean. You know, you're like Lieutenant is a clean boy. I don't understand. What what you trying to say? Uh, bro, it, uh, I am so sorry for everything I've done. I just realized that I've, I've caused you a lot of pains. And to think that I'm not even part of the family that I was dragging the properties with. It's my way of saying I am sorry for all the pains I've 
cost you. I don't want to remain in your black book. Please forgive me. So you can actually apologize? You of all people, with all your arrogance, Frederick. <laughs> like I said, Madam Jane, everything I ever did, I did out of ignorance. I, I, I was doing it with the thought that, 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 that the property belongs to both of us. I, I you know what? Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm actually dashing up with my wife now. Yes, yes. So maybe when I come back, we're going to discuss more on this. So, okay. L let me quickly pour water on it. Thank you. You're no more in Huh? Tell now. Malians can wait. <laughs> Malians can wait. Hey. Oh, uh, okay. this is serious. Hey. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Madam Jane. I still do not trust him. I mean, I can't believe that someone like Frederick could change so drastically. Sweetie, the only constant thing in life is change. Moreover, there is nothing he can do. You don't need to worry your pretty I'm worried. You worry too much. Why don't you go wash up this thing on the face of the sleep? Frederick, I must confess that your actions these few days are not seeming very um, impressive. Well, thank you, Mickey. But there's one more thing you must do for me. Anything. Just make sure it is done. I don't want you to be walking around smoking within the pallet. Oh, putting your awkward dance, how you call it, Malia dance or something. All those things must stop with immediate effect. Are we on the same page? Frederick, uh, consider it suspended, Mike. What? Sorry, uh, consider it done as long as it makes you happy. It, it was a slip of tongue. All right. At this juncture, I have to draw the curtain. Thank you, Mike. in here. Mommy keep the other ideas already, please. Frederick, why have you reduced yourself to this level? Sasha, can you bring your voice down? I will not keep quiet until you stop this madness. This is uncommon. And what is going on here? Since you got to know that you are not of a royal blood, you've been acting stuck even mad! What is wrong with you? Have you forgotten who you are? You are a Malian! And Malians don't bow! Why have you gone bananas? Sasha, you wanna know what I'm doing? All my life I've been fighting a blind war. And now that I know the truth, and the truth has set me free, I'm not ready to fight anymore. Please! I hope you see that big picture too. Prince, I am so sorry about this. Yeah! You know women, that they are like that. Sorry about that, please. I understand, it's okay. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
What Wait is now. it now? What now? Uh, my sister, this one Prince Frederick is watering the flowers and they're washing Prince Lutanaska. Hope all is well. Oh. <laughs> my dear, there is nothing one will not see in this palace. Oh. You know, at times I, I wonder why Prince Lutana should be this heartless, you know? As in, even to a point of not allowing his own brother benefit from the property their father left behind. Seriously, somehow. And believe me, had it been I was in a better position to help him, I would have helped him. <laughs> helped him? Prince Frederick, of course. I would have helped him. Anyway, I don't have any issues with him. It's just that, that his Malian lifestyle and uh, his hairstyle. My dear, gone. forget about the Malian lifestyle and forget about the hair, okay? That person has a good heart. Don't judge a man by his physical appearance. And remember, the hood does not make the monk. Do you understand? So please, try and like him the way he is. Take him the way you see him. Mm -hmm. He has no problem. I think so. Yeah, I know so. Let's go. Malians, I don't understand what you they happen again. How far our prince is? Yeah? Man, this whole thing, my guy, I can't even see. Even our Malian first guy. It's no longer holding. We can't even go to the king's palace. What's huh. happening? See, I'm at alone now. You see, they just divest me. You know, I want no more grass like this. What do they say again now? Yeah. I did. See, see, Malians. Let me tell you, there's something in my mind now. It seems Prince uh, Lutana has finally subdued Prince Frederick. You know, whatever. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. hey, guys, guys. Chill, chill. What the hell are you saying, bro? I don't think it's possible. Even before he left this town, he was very vibrant. No talk of now that he's back. Bro, see eh? I'll find out the root of this issue, man. See, we need we need to find out. I think those You are mad. Oh! Even in the middle of that everything you are doing, all up and we need and I'm not saying what this is. See eh? Now we need to find out what the problem is. Your brother in your house? No, no, no. Uh, is he not in the palace? He's not there. Huh? I've not seen your brother for the past one week. Ah, I've been searching for him everywhere. I've gone to his house. Even his workplace is not there. Huh? I don't know what to do. I'm so worried. I, I've not seen him. All. I'm even on my way to the palace to ask after him. Uh, his traditional marriage is uh, uh, fast approaching. You should be close to you so that both of you will plan the event together now. Ah. Hey, what will I do now? I don't know why my husband, my husband will be too. 
You leave me around the way now, and I've already told my parents that he's coming to pay my bride price. What would I not tell my father? See, see, see. He didn't run away. He did, or oh, he's not. He's not missing. I cannot believe that my brother is missing. It's not possible. Johnson will definitely come back. He, he's too too old to get lost. He's too old to get lost. Uh, yes, so? he will definitely come back. See, it might be that he's somewhere planning for the traditional marriage. And uh, you know how he behaves sometimes. Maybe he wants to give you a big surprise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. I think so. I not not I not I think so. I, I believe so. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank but God. please, eh? Uh, uh. That means I should go back to the palace. But if you see him, don't hesitate to tell him that I'm worried about him. What about it? I will tell him now. I can, uh, are you not my sister in law too? I will tell him now. Try and tell him. Okay, look at, look at even the ring he gave to me. Don't worry. Very yeah, soon, we will remove it from here and put it in the normal way <laughs> now. Yes, now. Maybe thank you. Uh, you, know, you come back. Don't worry yourself. Okay. Eh? Well, bye bye. Uh, bye bye. Um, but wait. Um, did you people cook in the palace? Hi. We didn't cook anything. You are just like your brother. I'm talking about my husband that you're here talking about too. Uh, nah, but just go. Why would I talk about food? Nah, who doesn't There's like no food? There's no food in the palace. Just, just go. Nah, but nah, don't worry. Yeah, we'll bye. Come back, eh? Uh -huh. ah, my brother will come back now. Ah. My dear Mary, I'm so sorry for everything that happened. I thank you immensely for the money you gave to me. But unfortunately, the money was stolen from me on my way to the city. As it stands now, I'm frustrated, trying to pull myself together. I can't even bear the shame of returning back to the palace. Please, my love, just bear with me and move on with your life. Once again, I'm sorry. Oh, this is a wonderful day. I must say I'm delighted to be present, you know, to witness my brother become the Igwe will be, be the fault. My brother, I must tell you that I'm happy. I am very happy. May your reign be long. Thank you, Lieutenant. As a nail for be the kingdom. Igwe! 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 As a nail for you. One was fantastic. Talk of the town. You could can imagine that my friends have been calling me from all over the world that they had of it. From the television, from the radio. So your coronation was very great. Oh no, were you expecting anything less than what you saw yesterday? No. It was just on a short notice I didn't get to invite all my friends. I'ma tell you something. If I had all the time, you would have seen all the Malians. You would have seen Naira Mali, 
You would have seen him be less like Anne. You would have seen Obi away. You know what? Bob Marley was supposed to be here. <laughs> Mama Tali, it was on a short notice. So, um, it's all good. I thank God. I thank God that at the end of the day, you know, even all the while I was uh, in war with my brother here, everyone thought we were going to kill each other. But I thank God everything, uh, it didn't go physical and we're still united like a family. I know that wherever my dad is, he's got to be proud of us. I want to use this medium to thank all of you, each and every one of you here who stood by us all this rainy days till today. And I also want to comment something about being a Mali. You know this word I say, you are dressed the way you dress. And that word I say, Malians don't wear pants, Malians don't wear bra, Malians don't wear belt, Malians are mannerless. I'ma tell you something. Malians got manners. You could be a Malian yet you got manners. Malians can wear whatever they want to wear. What you wear is not supposed to control who you are. You can wear whatever you wear and still be a good person. Because when you're a good person, you're a good person to your society at large. I'm not here to preach to you about being a Malian or for you to be a Malian or not. No, whatever you choose to be, don't let what you wear control who you are. Wear whatever that fits you. But still be a good person. You know what I call integrity? It's when a man or a woman does something nice, even when no one is watching. So I'm going to tell you something. I'm still a Mali. A Malian. But I'm a good Mali. Yeah. They say Malians don't graduate. But look at me. Look at me. I graduated from Harvard University in the United States of America. So what are you saying? Being a Malian, you can still be a good person and do the right thing. May you all live to see your children children. Eat, drink, enjoy yourselves. Lutana, my brother, they thought we were going to kill our <laughs> But they no not know that we got God. That's how it is, bro. I love you, bro. Love you too, bro. Everything you have is mine. Everything I have is yours. That's it. I said to my wife. You bet. You bet. You bet. I know who. I know who. I know who.